Thank you so much, everybody. Yeah. A <laughs> little bit about old Brandon Craig. Uh, during the day, I work as a delivery cyclist for Uber Eats. So it's fantastic to be here tonight doing what I truly love, which is staying warm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I do this in Manchester, uh, which, w- what I basically realize is that it's not really my job to deliver food to people, it's my job to get cold and wet so other people don't have to, which means I'm currently employed as an umbrella. <laughs> and I don't know, here's the thing, guys, it does not feel good to be a human umbrella, but I can't talk to you about that tonight because it's bad luck for me to open up inside, so. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Another fun fact about old Brandon Craig I am a gay man, which is pretty neat I have this cool gay Zelda tattoo Which I love, yeah And uh, I like it a lot Because for me, it uh, represents having the strength, courage, and wisdom To blow a bunch of weirdos <laughs> That's fun <laughs> I also consider myself polyamorous, but it's hard to tell. I mean, my situation is that I just, like, I'm not dating any one person. I just have a bunch of friends that I hook up with. So I'm either polyamorous or I'm an amazing friend. (laughs) I'm like the genie from Aladdin. (laughs) Can your friend take dicks? And I wasn't always this way, you know. Up until about last year, I considered myself very monogamous. And, and the evolution of it kind of reminds me of, like, the Marvel movies. Because, like, I, I, you remember back when, like, Iron Man came out and you are like, oh, man, Iron Man is amazing. I love this Iron Man movie. I'm just going to be with Iron Man. And then the Avengers came out and you're like, whoa, 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 you're telling me I can have all these motherfuckers? <laughs> Let's go with that. <laughs> It's amazing. Everyone's in that movie. Iron Man, great. Captain America, love it. Black Widow, we'll find her something to do. (laughs) Yeah, it's such a thing. Um, And and I feel like, like, like basically what it is, I just, I, I do have like a team of Avengers. I have a team of people meeting various needs in my life. Like if I need, you know, some vanilla sex, I go and hang out with my friend Adam, looking for something kinky. Sean is your dom. If uh, you want, you know, uh, validation and emotional support, come and do some stand-up comedy at the Hot Water Comedy Club. (laughs) Works a lot. (laughs) But I feel like gay people are on, like, the cutting edge of, like, weird relationships. Like, have you heard of daddy-son relationships? This is, I love it, because you know what? Straight or gay, there are always, like, couples that, like, where it's, like, an older person and a younger person, but gay people were just so on the nose about it, you know? Like, I feel like straight people dance around it. They're like, oh, you know, it just kind of fits. I mean, he's a young spirit, and I'm an old soul, so it works, because we're both pretentious. <laughs> you know? And then gay people, it's just, it's completely different. Where, you know, you go up to gay person, you're like, so your boyfriend's kind of old. It's like, yeah, I'm like boning my dad. (laughs) You think that's weird? He's boning his son. (laughs) (laughs) Does anybody know a couple like that? Does anybody know like a gay couple where like one, there's like a big age gap between them? Does anybody know a gay couple? (laughs) <laughs> I have uh, <laughs> I have one group of friends where one of them is 18 and the other one is 44. Yeah, I call that relationship a walrus because it's the type of relationship where you look at it from the outside and you're like, how is this thing even alive right now? <laughs> But whatever, man. You know what? I, 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 they can find love if nature can just, you know, slap a mustache on a water balloon and call it a day. <laughs> it's, I, love, I love hanging out with these guys, too, because it's so funny to just watch the interactions between, like, a teenager and, like, a middle-aged man who are dating. Because, you know, I was, I was hanging out with them the other day, and uh, the young one was like, Hey, Brandon, you want to hear something cool? 
we have had Netflix for free for the last two months because we signed up for a trial account using my bank account, and then we signed up for a trial account using his bank account. And the uh, adult was like, yeah, and I own a house. <laughs> We're all making a lot of financial contributions around here. <laughs> And so you know, he's taking MDMA, he's taking pills for his thyroid. <laughs> <laughs> My, uh, I, I, uh, I, I want to tell you about one person that I am uh, kind of with, and then I will leave you guys for the evening. I know, it's a shame. Um, but, but I want to talk to you about my friend Adam. My friend Adam is a very interesting fellow because he is simultaneously the most goth person I've ever met and the most camp person I've ever met, <laughs> which is great. He's just like, ugh, everything sucks except musicals. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and, uh, you know, the first night we met, we really hit it off. I could tell that he was interested because I saw him naked within 15 minutes of meeting him. <laughs> and when I saw his penis, it was so large that I got really afraid of it. Like, it was... I can't overestimate how big his penis was. Like, he dick slapped me. I lost a tooth. <laughs> it was ridiculous. <laughs> And I, I, I'm not proud to say this, but I actually, like, got scared and then just sort of made an excuse and, like, ran away from the situation. And I felt so bad for Adam because I feel like this must happen to him, like, all the time. And it kind of reminded me of that movie, uh, How to Train Your Dragon. Because <laughs> <laughs> in that movie, there's, like, a village, and all the villagers are afraid of this big, scary dragon <laughs> that lives nearby until one brave person goes over there, and I haven't seen the mo all of it, but I'm presuming he fucks a dragon. <laughs> anyway, but I, I actually, after about three months, I kind of screwed up my courage and went and hung out with Adam, and it turns out, ladies and gentlemen, I can take a dick. <laughs> Which is great. It's ridiculous. Now it's like a roller coaster where at first I was freaked out and now I just want to ride it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm so proud of my ability to take it. It's, it's on my CV. <laughs> which came in handy. Last job I applied for, they were like, oh, you can take an ass fucking. Welcome to Uber Eats. <laughs> Good night, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ha ha ha!